restaurant here. You can take it whenever you want. All right, awesome. Thank you for both sitting down with me and answering some questions that I have. All right with you, we'll get started, but how has your day been so far? Great, so far. A gorgeous day here yes. in LA. Yeah, I can't second. ask for better. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty clear, the sky's looking good. Yes, indeed so. All right, so for our very first question, I know Apple has reduced emissions by 55% since 2015. The new Mac Mini is the first carbon neutral Mac. Can you share the process that went into identifying the best sustainable materials that would be used while providing customers with the experience that they've always known Apple to provide? Start, yeah. All right. I'll give you a little deep dive. Um, so in general, when we, when we set this goal of Apple 2030 to be carbon neutral across all our products mm -hmm. by 2030, we knew materials would play a pretty big Big role in that. People think about clean energy all the time, but yes. it's also we're, we're manufacturing hardware. All that, mm -hmm. all that hardware has to come from somewhere. So mm -hmm. we really set a pretty strong recycling goal and also goals around ethical sourcing. Yes. And we decided to do that by picking the top 15 materials okay. that would have the greatest impact on the environment, positive impact, mm -hmm. if we could make progress on recycling of them, as well as probably human rights issues and social mm -hmm. issues in our supply chain. So these, this top 15 represents almost 90% of the weight of all the products that we make. And so, as John can probably fill in, what that means is as you start drilling down on each product and really looking at where those top 15 materials show up mm -hmm. and you start moving to recycled materials, that has a huge impact on, on our carbon mm. footprint. Okay. Yeah, and I think on the on the material side, material properties are really important and can dictate how well the product performs, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the strength of the material or the conductivity of the material, various other properties. And one of the challenges with recycled material is you're bringing in sometimes not, not a perfectly pure kind of base material and that can that can introduce impurities and, and then that impacts your performance. One of the big challenges is actually getting in and designing alloys that are more tolerant of those impurities so that we don't take any regressions in terms of mm -hmm. strength and conductivity and those sorts of things. And so many, many years ago, we started kind of building out internally a, a materials team, and particularly an alloys team, because a lot of these are metals, that actually get into the details of designing custom materials. And so by doing that, we can design materials that are more tolerant of these different kind of streams coming in. And Mac Mini like is 50% now. Yeah, Mac Mini is now 50% oh, recycled material. The awesome. aluminum enclosure is 100% recycled aluminum. Okay. Um, and one of the other interesting parts of the material side is, of course, we want to use recycled, but it's always great if you can just use less to begin with, right? True. And one of the amazing things about the Mini is because of the efficiency of Apple Silicon, we could build this tiny little product, which is great because it takes up hardly any space on your desk, but also uses 85% less aluminum than the previous product by, by way of kind of how we form it. So we actually, this is kind of fun, this is, the, this is the blank we start with. We do a process called impact extrusion where we push into it and it forms, the material flows up around the side. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't take that much to make this part. Impressive. And I'm seeing the <laughs> Mac Mini. It is definitely a Mini over there. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. super small. Yeah, so you can like. see it's like that. this whole part is coming from that, uh, from that little blank. Wow, cool. interesting like to see and to hear the story behind things and with you saying like the challenges are rather the barriers in which you face, could you elaborate a bit more on any other things that you may have faced in terms of barriers in the creation of things? Yeah, well I think one of the uh, things we wanted to do obviously is we've, we've made this transition to Apple Silicon on the Mac and mm -hmm. one of the, the great benefits of it is incredibly efficient, right? Tremendous mm -hmm. power efficiency. And so we knew that we could build a smaller product that still has all the performance that, that everybody would want in, the, in a Mac Mini, but of course we want to push it really, really far and, and be as aggressive as possible. And what we created with this little Mac Mini is um, uh, it probably our, our, if you look at it as like performance per volume, mm -hmm. I think it's like a, a new bar for us in terms of what we were able to achieve. And that was a tremendous amount of work on the engineering and on the thermal design team to figure out how to cool those chips inside that tiny little enclosure. But it's worth it because again, it's half the size of the, in terms of the space it takes on your desk, it's half of what the previous mini was. Wow. And it just makes me so happy when I see <laughs> our engineers get excited about the goal being to be more efficient, the goal being to be smaller, because they're thinking about our users, they're thinking about our customers and what they want and what, how much more space that creates on your desktop, but we're also thinking about, hey, you should feel great about knowing that this was made without contributing to climate change. So interesting to hear the blend of stories in terms of how you work together to create what we get at home and see and experience, so it's very nice. Well, and it's really cool because the, 
it's, they're, they're almost always aligning well these goals, right? Yes. I mean, if you think about the Mac Mini doesn't have a battery, but if you think about a MacBook Pro, that efficiency means much better battery life, sure. which everybody loves, right? But then it also means less energy usage and it's better for the planet, right? This this efficiency that lets us make a smaller product means we're using less material. So we're getting like win-wins. We don't have to yes. make trade-offs here. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. And, and speaking of performance, <laughs> as a avid Mac user myself and content creator, what are some of the changes we can experience with the new Mac Minis, with the new materials? So the performance okay. lift is going to be spectacular, right? Especially on that M4 Pro. <laughs> um, all the Minis now start with 16 gigabytes of memory. So I think that's also really great from kind of a, a future-proofing longevity standpoint. I think people are going to be really excited with what they can do with this tiny little device. Regarding sustainability, mm -hmm. what are some of the steps that Apple is taking to ensure that resources are ethically obtained? I know you touched on that a little bit earlier. Could we speak a little bit more on it? Yeah, happy to. Yeah, so we have those 15 priority materials. Yes. As I mentioned to you, those are selected in part not just for their environmental impact, but also for their social impact. We're out there auditing, we're out there doing everything we can to understand the chain of custody of all these materials so that by the time they get to our suppliers for manufacturing, we can feel good about how they were obtained, right? Yeah. But the even better way for us, which also checks the environmental boxes if they're recycled, mm -hmm. because then you didn't have to go back to the earth to mine mm -hmm. it, to get mm -hmm. it out. And that saves a huge amount of water resources, climate, you know, carbon emissions. You don't have to transport it as far. So we really like that. And we have a lot of materials out in the world, so recycling is a real opportunity, I think, for us as a species yes. to just use more of what we've already mined from the earth whenever we can. And speaking about materials and how they're recycled, how do you actually go about the process of recovering those from the products that are sent in? If we could talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah I'll do uh, a little bit of it. Um, so it is, it is a really interesting challenge mm -hmm. because of course what we're really talking about is our supply chain, working with our suppliers who have to get these materials in. Mm -hmm. So many years ago we started to change our standards for suppliers to include more recycled material and to include the use of clean energy. Um, and across the board, we've made, you know, we have 320 of our, our suppliers who are in our clean energy program already. Mm -hmm. So I think what Apple has really done mm -hmm. that's innovative is create this market for mm -hmm. recycled material. We say to suppliers around the world, whether it's copper or zinc or aluminum, we would actually prefer the material be recycled. Okay. That creates a market that they can come and turn around and meet. Okay, how do I get recycled material? And how do I prove to Apple that it is recycled? So we're not, you're not just telling me it's recycled. I need to understand where it came from. We're just trying to do business, and we're trying yeah. to do business in a different way, in a more sustainable way. Yes, I'm excited for that, and, and just looking forward to all the products that are going to further implement that into them as they roll out. So, thank you so we much. We want to see you using them. Yeah. Yes, I will be. <laughs> I definitely That's what will makes be. him happy. Yes. Yeah, that's the best part. I've been a Mac user, oh my gosh. I think my first Mac uh, was like 20, maybe 12. Wow. 2011 or 2012. You, was that you? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Which one was it? Uh, it was the Mac. I don't remember the model, but it was a MacBook Pro. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I want to say that was the very first. I know I had an iMac as well, but they, ever since I've started using them, I just Excellent. haven't switched back to anything else. <laughs> I could you? So, yes, exactly. <laughs> but thank you both so much for your time today oh, and you. answering some of my questions. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was awesome. great. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Thank Come. you.